everybody, welcome to the Wild Dog Way, I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be an April morning basket video. Me and Emily decided that since we could not travel due to the pandemic, we would bring travel to us with our morning basket. So for the month of April, we will be traveling to all of America's national parks using books, games, and fun. If you are looking for Easter resources, make sure you check out last year's April morning basket video and stay tuned on my blog because on Wednesday I will have a Easter resource blog coming out. Without further ado, let's dive into the April morning basket. The first thing we have as always is our devotional. This month we will be working through the 100 devotions about the names of God, I Am Devotional. It is short and sweet. You have your Bible verse, a summary, some discussion questions, and a go deeper section where you can go a little bit further into what you are learning about and an additional Bible verse that goes along with the topic of this name. For trivia this month, we will be using the Trivial Pursuit National Parks Travel Edition. This is so much fun because there are these cute little cards. And each card, let me take it all out, has different pictures on it. So you roll this dice and based off of the picture that you get, you answer that question. So you can see there's different questions with the different pictures and then the answers are on the back. So it will just be a fun way for us to get in some extra trivia about the national parks. For our Mad Lib selection this month, we chose the funny fill-in my national parks adventure what i love most about these is that they are mad libs but in full color they also mostly all feature a fun fact so you can see here this one says the great smoky mountains get their name from the fog or mist that settles in the air after a summer rainstorm now the bulk of our morning basket time is going to come out of this America's National Park book because all of the libraries are closed and I couldn't get my hands on a ton of stuff. So our America's National Park book will be the bulk of it. We will probably do two national parks a day. I chose this book because it features all of them versus just featuring um, some of the more prominent ones. So we will go through and read about one to two parks a day. And then my plan after we read through them is that we will use a map and we will map their location and then we will probably also map quest um, how long it would take us to drive to the location so i'm just using one of the sheets of paper that i got from miller's pads and papers so i got like a big pad of these so we'll just be using this on a clipboard as we you know travel to the different parks we'll just put a dot and then we'll just use mine or her phone and map quest what, what it would take us from you know our house to there. So after we have read about them and we have mapped them, we will probably also be watching a video on them. I found a YouTube channel, which I will link for you guys, that has a video on all of the national parks. So we'll watch a video so that we can feel like we are there. And then in this page a day travel journal that I picked up for Emily, it's about the size of your hand. It's stinking adorable and it's very nice quality. It has the um, silk bookmark and the elastic band. We will log our trip. So she'll write the date, the location, something that she learned or enjoyed about that park. And then we'll look up the weather in that location and then we'll put, you know, whatever the weather was that day here. For read alouds this month, we will be reading through Who Was Theodore Roosevelt. We will also be including um, my Who Was unit that is coming out for him as well. And the adventures of Bubba Jones, the tra time traveling through Shenandoah National Park. This is actually book two. And then book one is the adventures of Bubba Jonah. Bubba Jones, sorry, the time traveling um, through the Great Smoky Mountains. So we will read through both of these. And I also grabbed the Who Pooped in the Park books to go with each of those parks. If you have never seen these, they are really great. Kids love anything that talks about poop. And this goes through the National Park and it talks about scat and tracks for kids. So, and just all kinds of animal information in these books. 
and then you have tracks and scats notes in the back. So if you're traveling to a national park, I definitely recommend picking any of these up. We also have If I Were a Park Ranger picture book and The Camping Trip That Changed America as a picture book. Now, we don't have as much as usual, like I said, because our libraries are closed, but we are going to utilize what we do have and make the best of it. For hands-on things for Emily to do, we have her um, Junior Park stuffed animals. They're like little, I guess, plush people. She's picked these up over our trips over the years, and I thought it would be fun for her to get to play with them. And then we also have the National Parks coloring book. This is actually two sets, so there's a full set of all of them in the front and then another full set of them in the back. So we can either make copies or we can each have a set from this book. And then she also has the National Parks USA Map Jigsaw Puzzle. Now for games, we have the Camping Spot It, which is adorable little camping images. We have a game called Poop Tracks, which just seemed appropriate since we were going to be reading about poop and scat and tracks anyway. You basically are trying to match an animal to its tracks and its scat. So if you have the deer, you need his tracks and his scat to make a match. And we have the Professor Noggins National Parks. If you have been around here any length of time, you know how to play these, but I'll go ahead and show you anyway. So you have two sets of questions, easy and hard. You decide beforehand what you're going to do. You roll a three, a dice that has three numbers on it. There it is. And you answer one, two, or three based off of what you rolled. If you answer correctly, you get to keep the card. Whoever has the most cards wins. And then we have National Park Top Chumps. So this game plays very similar to War, and you would have all of your cards flipped over, and then you pick beforehand, um, you know, which is your highest, and then whoever has the highest number of that category gets to keep that card. Well, both cards, sorry. We also picked up Grumpy Old Bear. I really love these Junior Ranger games. This is an old maid style game for little campers and families. We haven't played this one yet, but Emily's very excited. And if we were talking about national parks and camping, we couldn't not play Camp the Game That Grows With You. This is absolutely one of our favorites. It really is a game that grows with you. It's probably one of the few games that almost every age could play. So you decide beforehand what number you're going to be. And for instance, like on this card, you have level one, two, three, and four. A level one question is something like, what animal is pictured above? A level two question is something like, what is a baby black bear called? A level three question is something like, what is a group of bears called? And a level four question is something like, what is the scientific name of the bear? So that is it for us. That is what we will be doing for our April morning basket. Like I said, if you're looking for Easter resources, I will link those things down below and others will be on the blog on Wednesday. Mm -hmm.